Hola mi gente, welcome to Wine Wednesdays. Thank you so much for tuning in. Join the family and don't forget to subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I did enjoy the wine that I reviewed today for you guys. Don't forget that Wine Wednesdays are no filter Wednesdays. Even though in this video I don't really talk much, I just review the wine. Also, let me know what red wines are your favorite. Let me know which ones I should try out. I want to try out some new ones. I like trying out new ones. I don't really like bitter wines, but I'll give it a try. This one was really good for me. So if you guys want to know how that went, keep on watching. Okay, so for today's wine, I did choose another red wine. I chose one of the 19 Crimes wines. Why? Because the bottle looked interesting. The bottle caught my eye, you know, the matte type of feeling. It's really nice. It says right here, the 2016 red wine. It does say the 19 Crimes turned criminals into colonists. Upon conviction, British rogues guilty of at least one of the 19 crimes were sentenced to live in Australia rather than death. This wine celebrates the rules they broke and the culture they built. All right, sounds awesome. Percentage, it is 13.5% of alcohol. I love that sound. Ooh, I did pour a lot for never trying it. Why did I do that? I don't know. I guess I'm just really excited. All right. So the color is really nice. It's not as dark as the Apothic Crush. If you haven't checked out that video, I just uploaded it last week. You know what I'm saying? This one isn't as dark as the Apothic Crush. Either it does look really dark on camera, but in the light, it looks really bright. It smells, it smells really nice. Cheers, you guys. Okay. It's not bad at all. It does have a little kick at the end, but it's good. The sweetness and the strongness, it's an even match. I like it. So an interesting thing that I found out while I was doing my research is you can actually download an app. When you download the app, you can actually put your camera onto his face and he actually tells you his story. It's so cool. I haven't personally tried it. I want to try it after this, but yeah, I thought that was really cool. Some may call me traitor, others hero, but I, I call myself Michael Harrington. This gentleman right here is John Boyle O'Reilly. He was a member of the Irish Republican Brotherhood for which he was transported to Western Australia. So when he was in Western Australia, he actually escaped to the US and he became a prominent spokesperson for the Irish community and culture. So I think that's pretty awesome. Good for you, John. They have more bottles. This is the very first one that I've tried and I like it. Even though it is a good balance for me, taste-wise, it's not all the way there, but it is good. I really don't know how that makes sense, but if you try it, you'll know what I'm saying. I rate her an eight, an eight out of 10. I really do recommend this. I really do, I really did enjoy it. This is perfect for like a date night, or a movie night, if you wanna feel fancy but cheap, this is it. I got it at Winkles for $6.98, so basically $7. $7 for some good wine? Hey, why not? I also recommend drinking this when you have like a good fancy dinner, you know, when you and your man 
have a steak night and you guys have mashed potatoes and veggies and you just want to have that nice glass of wine to just match your nice looking plate this is it and like i said the bottle is awesome it has a story to it if you download the app it's not made in california it's imported and bottled by imports in california but i believe it is made in australia southeastern australia yes so shout out to australia